<laughs> What's up, you polyhedral dice chucking denzins of the internet? It's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles, and it's February, which for me means Kickstarter is doing Zine Quest 3 right now. Uh, if you don't know what Zine Quest is, it's an annual event that they started three years three years ago, uh, where they encourage creators to make a single color. I'm reading this. Unbound, stapled, folded, or saddle stitched RPG on A5 paper or smaller, which is a folded piece of paper, essentially. Now, those rules are a little flexible. If you look at some of them in the past, some of them have been much larger than that. Um, they've been a little flexible with the color thing. And Drive Through RPG, who does a lot of the fulfillment of this, no longer does saddle stitched printing for smaller sized books, unfortunately. Their printer decided not to do them anymore. So there'll probably be more perfect bounds. I'm doing one and it has three colors in it, so I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, but it's really fun. The cool thing about Zine Quest is Kickstarter encourages first time creators, weird creators, artists, authors, people that don't normally work in RPGs or that have an idea for something strange to kind of come up with something a little different for this project and throw it out there. It's a two week project, they're like 24 pages. It's hard to go wrong with that. It's super fun. I love this time of year because I'm a big indie RPG fan anyway. And anything that encourages people to try different things is really exciting to me. Uh, we have one on this year. It starts next week called Three Die Six. And you play cool little bugs that are dungeon crawling in an underground world fighting giant spiders and stuff. And they can die three times because there's three different brains in their head. And it's a weird project that I probably wouldn't have done if it wasn't for Kickstarter encouraging this type of thing during February. So it's really fun. There's a ton of stuff. So my original plan here for Tabletops and Tentacles was to try and do a video a grok for every single project launched for Zine Quest. I may have been slightly over ambitious with that. There are literally over a hundred live on Kickstarter right now. So I may not get to everybody. However, if you do have a project on Kickstarter for Zine Quest 3 and you'd like me to do a video for you, I would love to. Send me a message, give me a shout out or a holler or something on Kickstarter if you'd like, and I'd love to make a video for you. I just don't know that I'm going to be able to make it through everybody this year, but I'm going to try. I've got a month. It's the first right now. Let's do this. Uh, be sure to head over there, check it out. I'll have links to anything that I'm doing videos for in my video descriptions. Um, you can also go to tabletopsandtentacles.com for links, and go check them out. Have a good time. There's some really fun, unique stuff over there. There's a lot of supplements for stuff like Morkborg and presumably Mothership and the Wretched and a few things like that, that uh, old school uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics has some supplements out already. So there's some really cool stuff by really cool creative people. Thanks for watching. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, you can go to tabletopsandtentacles.com or patreon.com slash deeply dapper. We do a quarterly magazine called Tabletops and Tentacles. This is a geek zine with interviews, RPG content, reviews, columns by really cool people. And if you join our Patreon at the $5 a month stage, you get those magazines for free in digital form and a print on demand at cost code. So you can get the printed copy as well. Or you can buy back issues on Drive Through RPG. Thanks for watching, everybody. May you live in interesting times. This is going to be a heck of a month. <laughs>